So this video is going to be about Kurt Day and Kurt Day's cat, of which he allegedly abused and abandoned. And usually I don't try to interfere with Kurt Day's things. I only make content about him signing up for those like scammy get rich quick courses in the hopes of actually trying to help him not go for these things. Uh. Aside from that, I try not to interfere with Kurt Day's stuff, but this one really got me annoyed because it concerns animals and I just don't like like animal related abuse or abandonment things so uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about who Kurt Day is he's such a complex person that it'll take a whole video to even talk about his various sagas and all the things that he has done in his life that are interesting or notable um, and he's many different things to many different people Kurt Day in one kind of term is basically a societal anomaly basically he's somebody who I wouldn't say he's somebody who is in society now. He is functioning and he's contributing, but he also flirts with the outskirts of society. It's like you know, society has kind of boundaries that that if you cross, like if you commit a crime, if you are just very strange and you know, and if you're not able to kind of connect socially with people on a very extreme basis they might put you away you might find it very hard to melt in the society to get a job and stuff like that he is just inside the boundaries but he's strange enough and close enough to the boundary even though he doesn't cross it a lot that a lot of people find it very interesting me being one of them so basically he as we would say here got a lot of pattern one uh, and, and then today's pattern is just something that i cannot stand i cannot stand which is why i want to make a video I personally don't wish him any ill will or anything like that. I don't want him to actually get into trouble over this stuff. I just wish that he would stop having pets in the future. That is my only objective that I want. And uh, if it means that he has to get a slap on the wrist or it means that he has to have this thing go a bit more viral and have people go and text him from all over the place, then he really realized that he was wrong. If that's what it takes, then so be it. Because I really don't like people being mean to animals. So now that that's out of the way, so what basically happened? So we gotta rewind a bit, and this is more than 10 years ago. He started caring for a cat. I think it was a void deck or one of these wandering cats that basically he got close to because he would feed cats. He would, um, when he goes out, he would bring a bottle of cat feed, like cat kibbles, like those hard biscuits, and he would just bring it around. And he'll feed the community cats that he sees um, outside. So I think he got close to one cat. The cat uh, eventually started living with him and then it became his, his pet. Lah. He posted a few videos about it as far as I know. I've seen at least one where he shows the cat. And so that's fine. So we just think, ah, he, he got cat. Sometimes he talks about the cat in his Q&A videos, whatever. We don't see the cat anymore, right? So recently, somebody asked in his Q&A, he does this monthly Q&A thing. Somebody asked him about his cat. How is your cat doing? Do you abandon your cat? Why don't we see the cat anymore? And he said... Oh, actually, a bad thing happened. So recently, his cat had started vomiting. And apart from just vomiting, the cat will also continually meow, 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 meow for food. After they would give it, like, cat feed and food to eat. Which, I think, is just because the cat vomit out, the cat hungry, then the cat asks for some more, lah, right? So the, he would feed the cat again, the cat would vomit again. And then this would just go on. Uh, this would just go on and on, and this was... Like really annoying him, annoying his family. They live in a very small home. Uh, he still stays uh, with his wife and two kids in his parents' home. So it's a, it's not a big flat and it's a lot of people. So of course, this kind of thing can get very annoying, right? Even if he and just him personally loves a cat, he can't even constrain the cat to his own area because he doesn't have much of his own area because it's such a small house. So naturally, this gets very annoying. And he said, well, the last straw was when the cat would jump on the dinner table after his wife or his mom had cooked some food, right? And then the cat would start eating the food on the dinner table, like that is meant for them to eat, the humans to eat. And then when the cat eat the food, then obviously they will not eat the food anymore. I don't know, like, maybe like it's not hygienic or whatever, right? So this was the last straw for them. So, being a responsible pet owner, like, if I just ask the average pet owner if this kind of thing happened, what would you do? And I think it's fairly evident that what you could do is, first of all, if your cat is vomiting, take it to the vet, right? Take it to the vet, get it checked out. Is it some nutritional thing? Is it some internal organ thing, whatever, right? Solve that, solve the root issue. Second of all, what you could do also is that you can change up the pet's diet. So instead of just giving it kibbles, like biscuits, hard biscuits all the time, 
Well, maybe give it some softer food from time to time. Maybe give it some softer food. Most of the time, I mean, it's a pretty old cat, right? He's had it for about 10 years plus. I don't know how old the cat was when he took it in. So all that, that happened, you know, and, and people started getting like, wait, so you abandoned your cat? And he clarified. He clarified what they did, okay? So his words, not mine, and I'm going to play the video so we can get an exact quote from him about what happened. But I can see that the problem just doesn't solve. Even my wife go and buy, you know, the, the thing for the Shopee, right? You put the food inside, huh? then you can close it. But the cat will still jump on top to open it to eat the food. So it's really, really hated until I really got no choice. Okay. Because if the cat doesn't get some, you know, jumping up on top you know, to eat the food, right? Okay, I don't have to do this. So I got no choice, okay, but to bring the cat outside, okay, to the puppy face. He said, lah, I got no choice but to bring the cat outside to the public place. So that was his first, uh, his first mention of what happened to the cat. And the story of what happened to his cat would change again and again and again. I can count at least three different narratives that he has said about how the cat was lost from his home. The first one that I can, and I can quote. So he said, I got no choice but to bring the cat outside to the public place. Okay, story number one. So he has no choice but to bring the cat outside. But later on in that video, okay, he's not a great communicator. So, okay, let's let him clarify a little bit more. Later on, he said that he was on his way to work. And then my parents told me cannot carry on like that. So that time I was on my way to work, so my parents called me, so said that I cannot carry on, so I really got no choice. So. And then he talks about it in more detail. He mentioned at this point that my father bring my cat out. Uh, then my father beat my cat out. Then I was expecting to see my cat, you know, at downstairs so they can feed my cat. But then I don't know why my cat just disappeared after my cat, after my father beat the cat uh, downstairs. Okay. So, is that abandonment? I would say yes, because your father bring the cat out, and you already said. You got no, you got, I got no choice but to bring the cat outside. So this decision that you made and that you were okay with as well. Okay, that is abandonment, man. Because you are basically taking the pet away from food and shelter, which it had gotten used to, which is in your house. By your decision and then putting it, also, uh, putting it in a public place, as you say. So when I watched that video, I was very concerned. And... What I did was, I left a comment under that video, which I'm going to refer to now. So in my comment, I said, don't know how to take care of animals, don't anyhow buy or adopt blah, blah, blah. your cat get used to living in the house for so many years, then you abandon it when it became inconvenient. Sad, yeah. No time, no knowledge, no money to solve the problem, don't get animal in the first place. So notice, uh, I'm using the word abandoned here. And, and notice it every time I say the word abandoned in my correspondence with him in the comment section of this YouTube video. So he says, you don't know the whole situation, don't anyhow say. Cat will jump and eat every single meal, buy or cook. If you are not in the situation, don't anyhow assume. I had my cat more than 10 years. More than 10 years, last time wasn't like that. That is not an excuse, uh, seriously, because as animals age, you have to change the way that you take care of them. I had dogs, I have hamsters here, I've had many hamsters. And when the hamsters get older, what I do? Like I have to redesign the cage so that I bring everything down low because they cannot climb as high as they used to. I have to make sure that from their house, the way to the water, the way to the food is clear of obstacles, don't need to climb anything. This is what you have to do. Same thing with a cat, right? And also, I said the word abandoned, he did not deny that he abandoned it. He didn't contest me on that fact at all, right? So I'm not saying he agreed that he abandoned her, but he certainly didn't deny it when I used that word, right? So I replied. So the conversation goes on, I replied. Then all the more, shouldn't abandon la. What la? Got try changing the type of food you give the cat? Got try consulting vet? Got try locking the cat in the room when you eat? So the thing with Kurt are uh, very interesting. Uh, he is very... 
I won't even say he's good. He likes to see I'm good lot. He has to dodge the question a lot. If he don't feel like answering the question, he will just disregard it. This might work sometimes uh, with a lot of people and I'm going to play a clip now of him dodging his wife. This is a hilarious incident where he bought some hamsters and then his wife is pissed off that he bought hamsters. And his, his wife asks him, hey, where you, who get the hamster? And the way he dodged, you just see how he dodged. It's like a kid like that. <laughs> It might work on somebody who's not so like uh, uh, intensely questioning him. But when, I mean, when he's in serious questioning, this kind of tactic doesn't work one, lah, right, obviously. So, so I reply, then put the cat in another room and close the door when you eat, dude. I also mentioned so many other alternatives, bro. Pet is like family, especially when you have it for more than 10 years. You got ring vet or not? So I ask, you got ring vet or not? Then maybe your cat food needs to change because it's getting old and it needs a different type of nutrition or different texture. So it eats your food instead because it's not getting what it needs from the specific kind of cat food you buy. Then he say, We well got so many room one. One room, my wife, me, my daughter, another room, my parents and my son. You think our house very big. And he says, Got try giving other types of cat food. Still use the same. I don't understand what that sentence means. I think he just means that still the same results happen. Lah. So he still didn't answer the thing about the vet still. He's still trying to dodge, right? So at this point, I, I just, I, I don't want to be mean to him also. So I just go, okay, you don't seem very receptive to hearing alternatives and accepting faults. So I also don't want to be rude to you or mean to you. So I should stop here, okay? But in future, please stop having pets, man. You are not a good pet owner, bro. Suffer by yourself. Don't bring others into your world if you cannot take care of them. And he, he just flips it, he says tong, piao zhuang tong. This is a phrase that he likes to use a lot and it's a Chinese phrase and it means if you don't know, don't pretend that you know. He loves to use this phrase, right? And it's so ironic because oftentimes he's the one who actually don't know and is pretending like he knows like that. So he says, Pet, my pets are very well taken care of by me, don't know anything, don't act like you know. And, and I, I didn't want to reply but I mean I, I just couldn't help myself. I said, your cat vomit. Then gonna abandon. Again, I see I use the word abandon. Huh? They're anything but well taken care of. Your hamster is also not well taken care of. Please, their cage is too small and the bedding is not enough. And he just out of, out of some weird tension comes to answer. It's not about vomit. It's about jumping to eat cooked food. But I already have established how the jumping to eat cooked food could be because he's not the cat is not getting enough nutrition from the it, unsuitable food that he is feeding it. Right? Cats are... Animals will, will, will default to survival mode if they're not getting their nutrition from the things you're giving them, they'll find it elsewhere, right? So the main takeaway here is, is actually two things, whether he abused the pet or not, and in my opinion, he has, and we can look up the definition of abuse according to the Singapore law later on, but also the fact that I said abandoned at many different intervals and he did not deny it, okay? Let's remember this one and also what he said in the video, i.e. my father bring downstairs and that I had no choice but to bring the cat to the public place. Okay? So remember these two things, okay, everybody? He didn't, he didn't specify when exactly the cat was abandoned. But on the 31st of July, 2021, the abandoned cat wandered into a nearby flat in uh, his housing estate looking for food and shelter. And the kind people living in that flat let her in. The cat would come in repeatedly they developed some sort of relationship and that household eventually took in the cat, adopted the cat, started looking after the cat properly. In their care, they later on revealed that they noticed that the cat was not in great condition at all. The cat's upper and lower fangs had been worn away and was basically relying on the back teeth to chew its food. And even the back teeth were soft or in bad condition. So it really goes to show um, that it was in such bad care, right? Either that or even if it, even if it developed the, the bad teeth, whatever, all this like malnutritional condition and the, 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 the vomiting after being abandoned, it still, you can still say that, hey, that's because you abandoned it in the first place. It shouldn't have been abandoned, right? So this is messed up. 
So we're dealing with two things here, two terms here that we have to talk about. First one is abandon. Was the cat abandoned? Second one is abuse. Was the cat abused? So let's look at the first one first, okay? Let's look at the legal definition of abandon. So under abandonment, pet owners must not abandon their pets and must make efforts to find them if they go missing. If it's not clear enough here, let's look up the definition of abandon. There's two meanings here that I can find on dictionary. First one is cease to support or look after. Second one is give up completely. I think number one certainly fits it. So, Kurti has said you know, in his later on statements uh, because as people pressed on him to respond to this thing to say, hey, somebody found your cat. They say your cat is in very bad condition. They say you abandon and you abuse your cat. What do you say to that? He said that hey, it didn't really count as abandon. He started changing his story. So we had already kind of seen two little slight adjustments to his story, right? The first one to say he personally had no choice to say like, hey, really, uh, the cat forced me against the wall and there's no choice but to do the inevitable. So that time I was on my way to work, so my parents called me, so say that I cannot carry on, so I really got no choice. So this was his decision, right? That's the first story. Second twist, which happened a little bit later in that very video, was that he said that he was out to work and then his dad brought it downstairs. Uh, then my father beat my cat out. So the third one came uh, quite recently when pressure started mounting because people realized that this cat is Kurt Day's cat. Because they adopted the cat like a few months ago already, right? So they realized, wow, who abandoned this cat? It's quite old and then like the condition is so bad. Later, eventually somebody connected the dots and realized that this is Kurt Day's cat. So they are putting pressure on him to talk to him to say like, hey, why you abandoned the cat? And then he realized that there's pressure coming to him. So he has changed his story to a third angle. The third angle, which he revealed in his recent response video, was that his dad opened the door and the cat ran out. Okay, I want to talk about this cat thing. Because uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's at least a, like a birdie girl, you know, who was the new owner of my former cat. And then she had been brainwashed was by the haters who have been uh, talking crap about me to her. So you see, as a result, sh the birthday girl got up was Okay, then post something on the Facebook, say I do cruelty to the cat, all this. No. Okay, you see, that time on the Q&A, uh, I did say that uh, my father what uh, being the cat now. But why that is because I don't know. I never clarified with my father. I thought that my father being my cat now, but that is not the case. Okay, the real, the real, the real reason is after that my father tell me, okay, uh, the door was open. The cat went out by itself. Okay, so I never clarified with my father that I thought. My father being a cat now, that is why I in the in the video I said that my my father being my cat now. Because that time I was not at home. Okay, I was I was not at home man. Okay, so this is misunderstanding. I mean that is such a slimy exit. He said that people misunderstand. Well if anything is because you miscommunicated, because you are a poor communicator and you were not careful in the way that you talk about these things. But either way you know, to say like, oh, uh, actually it's actually version 1, oh then it's actually version 2, oh then actually no no no, it's actually version 3, you all misunderstand and you all brainwash people. That's what he said, you know, about about this uh, new cat owner. He said that the, the new cat owner had been brainwashed by his haters, like people cannot make up their own mind. So you see, as a result, shh, the birthday girl got up brainwashed. Okay, then post something on the Facebook, say I do cruelty to the cat, all this. No. You, you give people no credit for their ability to take in uh, varying angles of information and make up their own mind? Huh? Go against you, then it's, it's brainwashed, is it? I don't think so, bro. Okay? And to come back to the, the subject of whether you abandon the cat or not, you, you already have, there's already video proof and, and text proof and, and communicative in your comment section proof of you 
not denying that you abandoned the cat and secondly that you had no choice but to do this thing to have your father bring it down to as you say a public place it's not a misunderstanding it's a miscommunication if anything but what I really think happened and these are alleged things uh, because I don't know if if he is just really miscommunicating misunderstanding himself or whatever or he's just a poor processor of information and a poor communicator of information what I really think happened is that he feels the pressure mounting he understands that abandonment is a bad thing is a, is a bad issue is a bad look for him so he's changing his story to make it seem like and this is what he said happened the dad opened the door and the cat ran out really he said also in the video that he got go downstairs and try to look for the cat who say I never went to find my find my cats? Okay, I did go the next day, you know, after work, I did search around near my house. Okay, my father was going to search, but we couldn't find the cats. So that is a uh, you can say that he made some effort, right? But that effort has so much flex to it and there is no additional proof of real effort. Because what you can do also is to go and ask on social media channels, ask on Instagram, your famous celebrity, people help you find one, right? Ask on Instagram, ask on Facebook. Some people say you should ask on Facebook because the cat did appear on Facebook in one of these community cat watch pages. They say, I got no Facebook, I don't check Facebook. Well, okay, lo. you can post on Instagram that your cat missing. They try to find your cat, right? No effort. Leh. He only talked about the cat after somebody asked him on the Q&A. What is I go down and try I got go down and try to look at cat. You go down for one hour and you kitty kitty that's not really putting effort to search. Did you put up search posters? Did you put up photos and an A4 paper on your void deck to say please call us if you find this cat? There's no evidence of any of this effort being made. He has also not said that he has done any of these things. Right? So I mean it's pretty clear to me. He abandoned his cat. Okay? Let's move on to the next thing. The second facet of this thing, abuse. Did Kate abuse his cat? If we go and look at, again, the Singapore legal definition of neglect or abuse of animals. So abuse of animal comes under two main classes, animal cruelty and neglect of animals. And for this one, we have to look at the second one, right? Neglect of animals uh, means that a, a pet owner, right, failed in one of these duties. And the pet owners have the duty to, number one, provide their pet with adequate and suitable food and water. Number two, provide their cat with adequate shelter. And number three, not subject the pet to unreasonable or unnecessary pain or suffering and how they are handled, confined, and protect their pet from any significant injury or disease. If we look at, say, provide their pet with adequate and suitable food and water, fail. Number two is about shelter. They didn't provide that either. That one failed also. Number three, I don't know. You know, not subject the pet to unreasonable and unnecessary pain and suffering. I, I haven't heard proof that he did anything to his cat. You know, like that. He, I, I'm sure he loves the cat. or he, I'm sure he's fond of the cat. But whether he took care of the cat properly, I don't know. But I don't think he harmed it actively. And number four, to protect the pet from significant injury or disease. I think that is an absolute fail also. Because nutritionally, it was not being taken care of. Dental wise also we have evidence that, that shows that the cat was actually uh, not getting the kind of like food it needed It did not get the kind of care that it needed, did not go to the vet So this vet issue, uh, somebody raised to him and said why you never take to vet And he said that it's because his parents told him no need to take to vet He said his parents said the cat is ki xiao, it's crazy Then talk about this, cat vomit all this I got thought already, I, got, I want to bring my cat to vet Okay, I, I, I mean that this is my mistake Okay, I should have been a cat to vet because BET. But then at the time my parents say that oh uh the cat is not sick. The cat is because they stay too long in the house for more than 10 years, that is why the cat I think a bit a bit key sell. So based on that he said, Oh, it's my fault lah, because uh, I should not have listened to my parents. Basically he's saying it's his parents' fault, right? Because he always listened to his parents. Nonsense. Right? I I ignorance is not a defense, right? And, and, and what is very amusing also about his reply video, right? Two things are first, a very small thing. Um, every time he mentioned um, this, this very nice lady, this very nice family that took him, he will say uh, this Malay girl. Can say girl, can say people, can say person. But every time he mentioned this person, he will say Malay girl. You know, uh, the, this uh, Malay girl, 
Okay, that's 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 at least a okay Berega, Berega. I talk to the Berega, so I explain to the Berega. One person talk to the Berega, no use. The Berega gonna brainwash. Berega gonna brainwash, and then the Berega has been brainwash. The Berega, I saw her comments. Berega, Berega, Berega. It never happened to the Berega. Why why must say Malay? Why is, is Malay got any difference? Why every time I say Malay? Another prominent aspect of that video is the fact that he uses the fact that he is a cat lover as a as a defense. And how he proves that he's a cat lover is that every time he goes out, right, he would bring cat food in a bottle. And this is true. I've seen him shoot videos where he would just stop by the street and feed stray cats. I bring cat food whenever I go out to feed stray cat. Even when I go overseas for holiday, I also bring cat food to feed the stray cats. I even I go to Thailand, I also feed cat with, with cat food. And I think that's quite a sweet idea. I think it's really uh, nice that he does that. But doing that outside doesn't mean there is no chance and, and no way that you will mistreat an animal at home. So to someone who bring cat food, okay, out whenever he go out. Do you think that I'm a cat lover or I'm a cat abuser? The social interaction with somebody outside in a public place in a very short amount of time is completely different from a long-term relationship with somebody, whether it's a lover or a family member or whatever. And that's what love is. Love is that you don't just like something, you don't just enjoy the nice things about something, that you are willing to put up with and take care of all the not nice bits about having a relationship with something because your affection for that thing transcends beyond just a one degree I like this thing, it's cute That's what love is, bro Do you think that I'm a cat lover or I'm a cat abuser? Don't call yourself a cat lover You are not a cat lover You are a cat liker because when you take on a pet, it's not just about taking photos of the pet. It's not just about giving it the minimum requirements for survival. It's not just about you You set one time, this is the food I'm going to give it, this is the water I'm going to give it, this is the house I'm going to give it, and then you just set that forever. That's not what you do, dude. You have to change it up. And if you want to have a pet and you're not willing to put up with these things, don't have a pet. I don't even want you to get into trouble, Kate. I'm just telling you to stop having pets because you are not a good caretaker of pets. So I also want to use this opportunity to talk about hamsters because he has pet hamsters and I have pet hamsters. This is colored. Hi colored. It's very bright so I won't put you here for long. I have pet hamsters. I'm a, I'm a hamster lover and people often buy hamsters in a spur of the moment because they're very cute. They live for about 2-3 years and then you just can buy them home in a tiny cage. And this is not the way you look after hamsters. Okay? Kurt Day has had hamsters at least twice. Okay? This current, uh, he, he used to have two Syrian hamsters. These are Syrian hamsters. They are, they are bigger than your typical hamsters. They are, they, are, they are some of the bigger hamsters that you can get from pet stores here, right? And they are solitary creatures. You cannot put them with other Syrian hamsters because the tendency is that they will fight because they are territorial, right? And they need a lot of space because they are bigger, right? And wow, I really, when somebody showed me uh, the the... The, the setup that he had when he first got uh, hamsters, when he first started showing, the cage is tiny and he had two Syrian hamsters in one, one cage. And then he would just take the, the video and show them all for a few t uh, times when he first got there and then they would disappear. Okay, somebody actually told me, and I have no proof of this, uh, but somebody told me, uh, what happened to the first set of pets? The first set of Syrian hamsters that he got is that they were killed by the cat. Okay, I don't know if this is true or not, uh, just what I heard. And then recently he got another set of hamsters, okay? These are, uh, I think these are dwarf hamsters, slightly smaller. But still, the cage that he put them in is way too small. He also put them together. And also, the bedding in that cage is way too little. He makes no effort to look at how he should take care of animals. And hamsters get it very bad because uh, pet shops also don't really care about hamsters because they, they, they live short brutal lives like, in the wild. They, they die so fast, they reproduce like crazy. So nobody really bothers to, to really look after them properly and stuff. But but I think this is a good opportunity to say that like, I know people don't care about that. Like, huh? I, I know that people actually care more about the cats. So yeah, don't fuck with cats. But okay, please don't fuck with hamsters also. Uh, you also cut there, okay? 
from what he said also, uh, somebody asked him, is your hamster pair right that you have right now, male and female, and he says yes. You have a male and female hamster pair in one cage uh, that is that small, it's gonna reproduce like crazy, bro. I just hope your hamsters are, are infertile or something because you are gonna create a generation of suffering, okay? They are gonna all be inbred. He says he has a male and female because he want them to uh, have lots and lots of babies. He said it himself, right? Don't do that, dude. That's abuse. You will not be able to look after them. Okay? So please, I uh, look after hamsters properly also. I'm gonna put you back. So interestingly, eh, the, the owner, after realizing this is Kurt Tay's cat, because Kurt Tay is some, something of a internet celebrity, right? Uh, actually contacted Kurt and said, Hey Kurt, we have your cat. Like, Can you tell us more about the cat so that we can look after it? Or do you want to take the cat back? And Kurt has no interest in taking the cat back. He he basically told them that, Oh, well, it's great that um, you, you found the cat. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that the cat is in a better owner now because uh, even though I love the cat, I can care for the cat. My, my family don't really like the cat, so it's good that it's with you. Kurt was also actually very uh, non-responsive when it came to certain questions about the cat that might seem like he uh, was irresponsible in caring for the cat. He might be doing this because he genuinely don't know or he don't understand the question or that he understands that this can kind of paint him as somebody who was a bad pet owner so he just avoid all these questions. Uh, and and um, the new owners of uh, Cookie the Cattle has said that uh, Kurte has been quite unresponsive and uh, recently also, I mean, the, in the video he called people brainwashed uh, so... <laughs> I think it's just very difficult to deal with on this respect and like people asking him not even trying to like get him in trouble or anything they're trying to find out more about the cat so that they can give cat the cat like appropriate care you know and even like that also like like he's not very cooperative so I really feel like well good I really don't want you to get into trouble but you're asking for a little bit because this is not just about you eh. this is about like animal lives and stuff and then and as an animal like lover, I, I cannot tahan this kind of thing. Kurt, uh, if you are watching this, uh, you are not a good pet owner and you should not keep animals. You should not keep pets. Because even if you say you love them, even if you say you have affection for them, you have no ability to make the necessary sacrifices, to devote the necessary resources to make sure that these animals are taken care of properly. So please stop keeping animals in the future if you don't do that if this thing escalates and you get a slap on the wrist or worse i will also not feel too bad because this is a lesson you need to learn stop keeping animals as pets until you are ready to look after them